All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comment. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so we have this so far. What else could we do? Let me think. Uh, I'm going to add another gradient map. And this time, what should I put it on? I should. I'm going to try soft lights. And I have a bunch of gradients to choose from. Okay, let me choose some. I think this looks. I think this one looks pretty good. This uh, CPN Cyan one. This one right here. Let me see if there's any other ones that are nice. Um, this one is not terrible. Let me see. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's apply this. Okay, so I'll grab some leaves. I'm just gonna place them right here. So some leaves just falling from the background like that. I think that looks pretty nice. Just right here. Looks pretty good. And let's add some in the very, very back. It's very hard to see, but you know, detail is important. So I'm just gonna place it right here. Now I'm gonna add exposure. Okay. Bring the offset up. As well as this. Alright, and I'm gonna mess with the curves a little bit more. This time I'm just going to play around with the colors. And keep in mind we don't have any effects yet on the uh, actual characters. Alright, I think this is fine. Um, let's check out the difference. And I'm just gonna drop this down to 55. Alright, now I'm gonna. Alright, now I'm going to get around to doing the effects. Alright, so I'm using i5k's uh, graphics pack over here. If you go to his Twitter, you could uh, probably find it. So let me check out these, and let's go into cartoon effects, electric. Um, which one should I use? Let me try this one. Let's put this one on the sword, the blade. That was pretty nice. Uh, let's put it right here. Okay, let's copy it. Let's put this below. I'm just gonna take this filter blur, Gaussian blur, and just like that. Let me see what other effects there are. I want to see where I could put this one. Maybe. I could put this on here. No, that does not look right. Um, see how this looks. Um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna rotate it, and I'm going to warp and arc it. Okay, I'm gonna scale down. Now I'm just going to place this over here. All right, I'm gonna change the color so it actually matches. All right, now I'm going to try to add some maybe particles. Actually, let me check this out what's in here um these are some pretty cool effects it's pretty cool i'm just gonna leave this there there we go that looks a lot better um all right i'm gonna take this i want to see how this looks so i'm gonna bring this behind the render and i'm just gonna go colorize Bring the saturation up, the lightness up, and I'm gonna make this purple. So just like that, I'm gonna leave this right here. Alright, I think I'm done with the effects, I'm just gonna take everything, make it into one layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to Camera Raw Filter, bring the texture up. Vibrance. Now I'm just gonna adjust the shadows. I don't want it too. I don't want to have too much contrast, so I'm just gonna play around with these until I get something that I like.
Alright, so I have this now, and I'm going to want to have some black bars. I really like these black bars because it just makes everything look cinematic, as you can see. I'm just going to leave this right here, and I'm going to take everything and move it up. That looks pretty nice to me, okay. Let's add some depth of field. So, there is a couple ways we can do this. We could go to a blur, um, radio blur, go zoom. I just might maybe like five and as you can see it does this kind of a zoom effect so just erase the parts we don't want the effect to happen And I think we are pretty much done. That's going to be it. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out our website. And I will see you all in the next video.